It took seven years of improvising, adapting, and overcoming all the obstacles. It took seven years of connecting the dots, meeting the people, creating the partnerships, until it became what it is today, which is arguably the most innovative new store in the world, in the most important city in the world. Not every retailer gets to open in New York City. It's a big market, but it's a difficult market. There's not a better place to express truly what you believe in. Meatpacking wasn't known as a good retail location at the time. It was mostly dominated by bars and a late night club scene. People told us their location's wrong, the store's too big, you're just gonna be another flagship store in New York that loses money. Finding old buildings that you can reinvent, it's challenging and it's very rewarding. To take this kind of simple yet distorted brick facade and try to reimagine that. Historically, the Ninth Avenue L was the first elevated rail track built, built in New York City. And it had a lowest 12th Street stop. And so if you were standing in Gansevoort Plaza, this building would have been largely blocked from view because of that elevated rail track. That was inspiring for me. It had its own pattern. It's a language of sorts. Bolts, nuts, splice plates, welding patterns. Our goal was to wrap the corner, almost in the same way that the elevated train wrapped that very same corner, creating a beautiful, almost artistic abstraction of the past and the present. We thought, how do you transition someone in this city that can seem sometimes cluttered and chaotic and bring them into a space of harmony and hospitality? When you walk through those doors, everything's calm. It makes everyone pause when you experience it to consider new things. Think about the way we live. Think about the way we eat. Think about the way we want to interact socially. With each idea unfolding and surprising you, like a beautiful barista bar and outdoor wine terrace, it's the first time we've embedded an entire interior design firm into the retail experience. A six-story integrated art exhibit called New York Night by Allison Berger. Conceptually, it's this idea of being caught in the rain in New York. It is undeniably beautiful if you can stop and see the city as a reflected pool of light. 120 hand-blown crystal forms that contain the light. New York Night. And as you land on the rooftop, you step off into a glass box and a restaurant that seamlessly transitions from indoors to outdoors. The social aspect is really big. People feel comfortable, can always find a space to socialize, but also to share it with other people. It's all about blurring the lines between residential and retail and creating spaces that are more home than store. It's all about blurring the lines between indoors and outdoors, and blurring the lines between home and hospitality. We can eat, we can drink, the best in the world, right here, in this spot. The combination of the architecture, the art, and the design creates an energy that I've never seen in retail. For a long time, RH New York is going to be seen as not only an unbelievable expression of our brand today, but will continue to be an unbelievable expression of our brand for years to come.